All right. So we have Adam versus Andrew. We're good to go, guys. Adam is sitting at five and one. This is his uh, clinch match, pretty much, I think, at this point. Though there might be another person that can tie him and might need a playoff uh, as a potential. And Andrew's looking to fight in on OA is in the top four, three and two here. Um, should be a really interesting match. Let me pull up the list as we're talking here. Um, I think Andrew's got a pretty good hate against the variety of stuff that Adam can do. Um, I definitely think Andrew's hate is pretty solid against it. Um, so Adam's list we've seen quite a bit. Just talking to Adam out there. He is thoroughly enjoying the format and uh, he's meant to wanted to play for a while and uh, you know, he got in this time. Or, or sorry to Dan. Dan's thoroughly enjoying the format out there, but Adam it seems to be as well, right? Obviously. All right, so we start with the thought seas. Uh, there's obviously a good place to start. We've got, ooh, nice one there. We've got some lands. We've got Urza. We've got Astrolabe. We've got Stoneforge. Um, Ballista. I mean, I think I'm swift to here. I have to take the Stoneforge. Uh, yeah, you know, because that's going to be the most immediate level of threat. So we've got Esper Sentinel into Thought Seas turn one, which is a pretty good start. Um, so what else does Swifty have against this matchup? Swifty's got Karn at main deck. Lorne of the Third Path, uh, Op Agent for the Tutors, um, you know, obviously the initiative, White Plume can hit artifacts, Colgan Command can hit artifacts, we've got Prismatic Indian that can hit artifacts, uh, plenty of hand attack, uh, so, and then out of the board, we've got Fracture, which can hit artifacts, Meltdown, um, so Torpor Orb is a potential, so lots of good stuff there, um, I think, you know, the counters potentially, um, you know, Adam's got definitely some quality stuff that can come in here to the board, but I don't think anything that directly addresses uh, the deck in the same way, right? Mm. And I miss Dovin, which is absolutely brutal, uh, you know, uh, against, doesn't necessarily stop the um, Urza, uh, but, you know, it definitely is a quite good play in that it's just going to slow any of the larger shenanigans there. Uh, looks like a mind twist and a prismatic ending. He knows he's got three cards in hand effectively. Uh, we're going to just ping that out. In response, it's going to kill the Sentinel. And that's going to go away. Uh, there's a fourth. Hand looks pretty good. Uh, do you mind? If you don't have the mana, like you've got the third mana, you mind twist for three here for sure. I think you just mind twist for two no matter what. Yeah, you're going to mind twist for two. Um, hoping to hit the Urza. That's a pretty strong attack. We might get to see what the third card, the face-down card is. Oh, there was two more face-down cards, so we're hitting half the hand, and we're hitting the swords and the astrolabe, so we know we still have an Urza in hand, and we don't know the other one, right? Oh, it uh, looks like an Enlightened Tutor, so, uh, which is slowed down by the Dovin. <laughs> Makes it a two-mana Tutor. Yeah, I think he really obviously wanted the Urza there to hit the Urza. Uh, that would be the best case. Uh, but, you know, definitely not a bad spot to be in. I like this matchup for Swifty. I think this matchup is, is definitely pretty good. Um, we're going to go ahead and enlighten. And we're going to get an Urza Saga with that tutor, right? Um, pretty good answer. Play the Saga. We know the other card in hand is Urza, so we're not really that worried about it. Saga can be answered in a lot of ways. That is one of the ways they can answer it. Uh, so, uh, good top deck, good rip there. So we've got an Urza, but a lowly 1-1 one, one, um, token there. 
Uh, Prismatic, the token for one. Swifty, another land. He's got that Mox in his hand, but another land would just be really nice here for him. He's just staring down the barrel, uh, you know, the lack of land. He really, I mean, I think with another land, he could fourth. Um, they're both going to draw a card. So there is another land in hand, but I don't know if it's a red source. As he's staring down no red at this point. I saw a swamp. So we are going to I OK by the looks of it. Yeah, nice, solid. Um, hmm, that's a toughie. I, I think you take the, the retrofitter. Yeah, yeah, you take the retrofitter. No, oh, it is sweet. Okay, so he's got a plat, so um, he can. Oh, yeah, five, and it's one. Nice. So next time, he can go ahead and force for two here. I think it's the right play rather than holding back and being greedy. I think I probably would have held back and being greedy, but I'm a greedy. And uh, so we're going to block one with the Urza after it gets blanked. Gets to draw a card off the Monarch. Salvagers comes down. Super solid here. Um, but the extra card off the Monarch gives Swifty a, a pretty solid shot at some kind of answer for that. Uh, we've used the Prismatic, but we have a March. We have a Colgan's Command. Um... We have a Phyrexian Revoker main deck. We have a Blood Chief's Thirst. Um, so, lots of opportunity to... And a Vo Dothi Voidwalker. Oh, yeah. So that he can buy things back, but... And we're going to get some Lingering Souls. He did not. He missed his Monarch trigger. He didn't draw off the Monarch, I don't think, there. So that's a, a bit painful. What is the wording on Salvagers? How does that work? Um, I don't know how that worked. How did salvagers get? Long day. I am bad at magic. Sorry about that, folks. I forgot the salvagers returned it to the hand. I was thinking it returned it to the play, and that does not right. Mm. Bad mana on me. Long day. All right, so he drew an extra card of the triome, uh, digging for a potential answer. Um, you know, salvagers obviously really good here as it stops, uh, gets around the kind of Dovin. Um, we are at 9 versus 20. So we've got an opal. Uh, should be some extra mana for each of those, though. So One for the opal. Yeah, one for the opal. And then use the opal and the mana for the vault. So we're good there. Yeah, Swifty has forgotten multiple Monarch triggers. Um, it's not good. You know, going to put him behind the eight ball there a little bit. I think he should have two more cards in hand, and that's 
Um, particularly not a great place to be. Uh, white plume, land, and I don't know what the other card is. All right, so we've got some lingering tokens and a Dothy Void Walker. Oh, it's all the white plume now, so. There, see? All these flicky people, right? Flicky people dropping cards, doing flicky things. Gotta be careful. You gotta flick, at least show me the cards. Uh, I really like Swifty's deck, as I said early on. Uh, I, I, it feels like one threat light. Like, I don't know what that threat would have been. Um, you know, I, you know, Stoneforge would have been solid, but it would have gotten... I, actually, I know what that threat should have been. It would have been Comet. It feels, you know, Comet would have been amazing. Um, so. Ooh, Caracas. Oh, that seems good. And then let's go ahead. That was the other unknown card. Let's go ahead and cast a White Plume. Go get a basic. Dovin doing work. We're going to flash back Lingering Souls. So, unless Adam can just win out this next turn, uh, which getting the Urza bounced probably hinders that significantly, right? Um, unless Adam can just win out this next turn, which involves... I threw a Dovin seems tough, right? I mean, it potentially could involve... Uh, the Crypt should be still... The Vault should still be tapped, right? No, he didn't tap it last time. Never mind. Um, he can't use the Ballista this time. So without an LED, if he draws LED, he can win here. I don't think he wins outside of the LED. It is possible. Uh, but definitely going to be an uphill... Transmute's good, though. That's Got to pay one more for the transmute, so we're seeing how much we're floating. It's going to double transmute. Lutri copying the transmute. Gets the vault. Gets the key. Transmute gets exiled. Foundry gets exiled. A bunch of stuff gets exiled, yeah. Under Voidwalker. We have one land up. We're going to draw a card each. Is that a march? No, it's not a march. Interesting. So the untap, 
because of the white plume, the Lauren gets untapped. So we're gonna dig again. Because our wording on white plume is what? Beginning of each opponent's upkeep. So he's gonna keep keep unattach unattaching the Lauren at the beginning of the upkeep. Drawing to Oh my. The issue is he's only at the one land. The mocks. Make this so interesting. March is obviously a potential. The spell bomb is going to end that, though, where he's going to bounce to Lauren. And Swift is going to skip it. Oh, my God. Oh, what a game. The double tra Lutri transmute. Like, Swifty had that thing in hand. And... I had called one out as a potential for getting the other there. And that's, you know, the complexities of VRD. There's always another out. And well, not always, but there's so many outs. And I did not see that out coming. And what a play from Adam Varner. Um, man, that's just, ooh. Adam takes a, a game one where he is on the ropes. Uh, and... Uh, Pulls it out. Just losing that match and just like, just complete. Did you see this match, Mark? No, man. So, okay. So Andrew's deck's really good against Adam, right? Like Andrew's got a ton of hate and like he's got a quick Dovin. He's got him lie down. I got Adam at four. Yep. Um, I, I'm mag imagining that Adam's only out is he's got a drop, drop deck LED because he's got salvagers in play. Yes. Right. Um, Andrew uh, Lutri's his transmute artifact to get Vault Key. He transmute Adam artifacts. Does. Adam does. Yeah. Okay. Adam. So Adam, like, he's dead next turn. Yes, we talked about this play because he was like, my Lutri doesn't actually do anything. All it does is just like I might be able to uh, cast it to. Uh, what did he say? He cast it and then in response to the Enlightened Tutor, tap to draw a card off. Of, and I'm like. Yeah, but you could also like use that in transmute artifact. That doesn't yeah. sacrifice the artifact until after until it's resolving. Yeah, so right. you can sacrifice two things. He's like, oh, I can go get Vault Key. Yeah, he that. did. Well, he did. You, so, you, yeah. Your advice. <laughs> yeah, you, it wasn't my advice. Really, <laughs> right, we right, were right. talking through it. Yeah. But he, he figured it out on his own. Yeah. No, he. Uh, yeah. So he was uh, dead on dead next turn easy. Nice. And I, I thought his only out was LED, and he just top deck in the LED. And, That's amazing. He was still a ton of mana then, right? Yeah, I mean, he was pretty much going, but like he, he would have had to, like, uh, you know, he was through a Dovin, so even the LED was going to be there, but it was going to be a challenge, right? Oh, yeah. Because like, he was had to do it through a Dovin. Oh, God. So Can you so even he do that through a Dovin? Like, or Oryx Salvager's cost? No, you can't even do that through a Dovin, because you got to pay no. the one. Yep. So. so so he had to pay six mana plus whatever the difference is in the artifacts he sacked to yeah. go get them. And then but he, he had no difference. He sacked a Vault and Retrofitter and he got like, he had to pay one difference, whatever, to get Vault key. Okay, so a total of eight mana had to be there. So yeah. he could so he could pay the three plus the three. Yeah. And then plus the one and then plus one to untap it. That's yeah, but, ridiculous. But I mean it was like I mean it was Swift had a hell of a game, right? It was like Thoughtseize and then Dova and then like uh you know fourth. I think Swifty blows that game. I'm pretty sure Swifty have missed two monarch tricks. Triggers. That's um, tough. That's tough. I mean, plain and paper is so yeah. different. I think he missed two monarch triggers, and that okay. that hurt. Here we go, though. It's a good looking hand. I saw yeah. Savai. I saw fourth. I didn't see a thought seat, so it's not amazing. 
But I think on, I think on the play, you play the Triome now. It's got a march. He has a march, yeah. He has a march to protect himself. Yeah, you play the Triome. It's, that's a key. Yeah. And he has like a good mix of lands, yeah. right? He also has a Delta to go yeah. find whatever Dan's having a great time. Dan loves this format. Yeah. Uh, he, he'll definitely be back. Uh, Josh also requested an invite back. Good, so. good. I talked to Josh a little. I told him that the green-blue deck is often a trap that I thought he should have gone black as a third color. Oh, man. I See, I'm... I used to think that, and I still mostly think that, but I, every deck I brew ends up morphing into blue-green now. Yeah. I just don't think it helps, unless you just have a ton of ton of counters, it just doesn't stop other people from doing anything. You're just doing your thing. Yeah, I just want to play Flash, and right. blue-green's the best Flash deck right yeah, now. Yeah, true. Well, and you also got the new best Flash target. Yes. So. Uh. Yeah, Eureka Flash. Yeah. Anyway, this game, though. Yeah, this game. Uh, Adam has drawn Mana Crypt, like, every single game, and it is always incredible. Yeah. No. Although he did almost kill himself with a Lutri and play against me. So, did you finish out your matches with... I still have one match one, left. Yeah. Uh, I'm... Uh, well, yeah, I, the, the matches, I've, I lost both of them. Uh, but I feel like the deck is, like, very close to being good. It, yeah, it is. It it, is. It's, like, one turn behind, and... It, I, think there was some si- I think there was some sideboard, mainboard choices that would even make it... Yeah. Yeah. So. But, but, no, it's, it's, not a, it's not a bad deck. Right. So. Um, yeah, I, I hate, I, I hate hope, that he had a bad time, so... Me, too. I have, I have hope for the last match, though. Okay, so there's no Rex Elvers in play. Yeah. Uh, Swifty does have the march, which should keep us covered, though, in case Adam does yeah. threaten. No, for sure. Like, yeah, Swifty was so up that last game. Like, he was just in control, was just dominant, and uh, like Swifty's just got so much good stuff against. Yeah, absolutely. But I mean, at the same time, you can't yeah, see no, the top no, of somebody's yeah, deck. Yeah. So they, no, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he had a mind furniture too. Like if he had hit the Urza off the mind twist over one of the things he hit, it would have been much better. Like you know, there, sure. was, there was four cards. He mind twist for two. Uh, he, he had a couple turns where he didn't draw a land, with, with, you know, which sucked like for mm-hmm. him. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he missed a couple of archers, which was painful. Yeah, that's tough. Uh, do you, I mean this this game? Swifty obviously has like the first uh, blow covered, but. Okay, so Bob, the, 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 the grind engine. Yeah. Yeah, he kind of has Bob and Bitter Blossom as the way of... After he blocks the first punch to right. start grinding back in. Okay, Adam has dodged the first two of his own uh, Crypt Triggers. Yeah. But, like, Swifty can't beat just, like, I don't know, a Blightsteel Colossus from Tinker, right? He hasn't had that. That's the other deck. That's Josh's deck. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I thought he... Okay, I no. thought Tinker was in this one. My bad. No, no, no. no. He's got... So okay, he's been balancing just... people, right? He's been balancing people all day, like yeah. with sick balance plays. Like earlier, like turn one balance. Oh, oh you can choose the yeah, turn one LED balance. Yeah, yeah, I was there and I lost. Yeah. It was yeah. a lot of fun. I was Bob dealt zero damage. Good. Yeah, that was that was sick. Like that was some of the sickest magic I'd it was seen. Really cool. Like, but it was also like I don't know. He probably had an eighty percent chance to win, but there was still a very yeah. Real yeah you 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 fought that like that, <laughs> you fought that game hard, man. Uh, this one though, I man. Are there any sideboard cards that are super relevant here? That um, I don't think for out of Adam really. I mean, Palace Joe potentially like Teferi maybe like I don't polluted or portable hole. Seems portable like hole. Yeah, there's a few. Uh, Swifty though. Oh, no, White right. Plume. We have the under under. Yeah. Swifty's Tank got um, Fracture. Yep. Um, he's got Sorcerer Spyglass. Spyglass potentially. He's got Meltdown. Uh, you know, so he's got a couple of boards in that, you know, and of course, obviously, the main deck, Karn, obviously, already. Yep. And Dovin. Um, and the Spyglass cannot hit mana abilities, correct? It cannot, right. No. Okay. But it can st- shot, stop a uh, Thoughtseize. Or right. a time, a time salvagers, vault. Right, or a vault, or... Yep. And this is Salvagers for LED. And he's got Revoker, too, a main deck. The Salvagers for LED, does that Walking Ballista as the win con, or is there anything else? You, um, so Urza, obviously he's got Urza. Oh, Thopter Foundry? Uh, Dr. Foundry, Urza, so Thopter Foundry for a way to turn, yeah. Urza's a big one, uh, just for cast your deck, but then get there eventually. Uh, that's probably riskiest, I don't know if that's actually a straight win. Uh, and then, yeah, I, I generally like another version of, uh, Walking Ballista to go with it, like, uh. Uh, but he has the Emery at least to buy it back. But like, I, I generally like some kind of a Goblin Cannon or, you know. He's got sure. the Retrofitter, which can buy a turn too. He has uh, to wait a turn. There's a Fractured Identity hitting the table. Yeah. Targeting that White Plume Adventure. That is beats, that's, man. That's uh, pretty good. Yep. Let's see. I mean, is he going to march his own creature? Can you do that? You can. Yeah, it's up here right now. It might, might be worth yeah. it. it. You have to pitch two cards. No, I can't be worth it. Though. Yeah, that's that's way that, that seems bad. 
I think that's the calculus he just went through. Yeah. All right. There's a uh, white plume t- uh, token on the other side of the board. Yeah. And Adam has the initiative. And can protect it. Oh, man. Yeah, it's pretty good. White plume untaps, is that right? Yeah, it untaps. Okay, so it's at, at, pseudo during vigilance. The, during their upkeep, or during their untap step, you untap. Got it, okay. A creature, and then if you have the full dungeon, all your creatures. That's silly. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I know my way around. We need to print out another Undercity, by the way. We oh, only sure. have one, and, and, and initiatives that are potent enough at this point that, like, uh, yeah. there's often two to three lists that have an initiative card. I think that there are actually two, but they're, like, stuck right. under the green one or something right. weird. But, yeah, good call. All right. Taking two from the Phyrexian Revoker, which stops the Orac Salvagers again. Right. Huh. I think if he's got land, I think you fourth for five or for three here and take the initiative back. I think that's really key because then they have vigilance and they can. Yeah, they can they can block the can crack block, back, and right. you get the monarch as well. Right, you get the, yeah you, yeah. So I think, like, I mean, it's tempting if you have another. Okay, he's gonna go lingering so He's gonna build up even more before he does right. that big turn. Because then he can also go uh, revoker, I assume as well. Or, or he, he can just flash back the souls. Ah, true. That's even better. Yeah. Unless you're super scared of the infinite mana. Right. Yeah, he's, he's going to hold up his mana for the oh. removal. Okay, so he's just holding up March? Yeah, he'll hold up March, which just makes sense. I mean, that's fine, because, like, you can do, like, uh, you know, depending on what he marches back, he, he can... <laughs> Adam's getting to learn how a dungeon works? Yeah. It's really kind of d- disappointing that they didn't bring their own uh, action figures to move down the dungeon. <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I see we have a mini from D&D Minis. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Got a little, like, halfling rogue-looking thing. That's cute. All uh, right, he's going right. He's oh. going to scratch, too. I think in his list, this is probably right. He doesn't, I mean, the fives, like, he's trying to win by combo. Five is not going to be overly aggressive. Like, what's five do, right? Like, yeah. He's if this not... were Seasoned Dungeoneer, I think it'd be correct, because then you could crack in. Yeah, yeah. If it's Seasoned Dungeoneer, that's different, like, because it's going to get protection. You're just going to crack through. Right. But, you know, against this army of lingering and things, I... His life total is also getting threatened by his own crypt, so he's down to 12. Mm-hmm. So he kind of has to make something happen here. Oh, he's double blocking it. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. Getting rid of his own Bob, too. Yeah, but I mean, the Bob's, you know, he can't, he doesn't want to you know, take too many. and. Interesting. Yeah, I don't... I mean, I think getting rid of it and, you know, is just... Swifty is a grip full of cards, so this makes sense, I yeah. guess. He can just throw, throw those resources away. Okay, Aether, Spell Bomb, and I assume yeah. he's going to cycle it immediately. Yeah, spell oh, bomb. Popping, okay, popping the token. Yeah, spell bomb won him the game last time. I mean, Swifty was prob- probably losing no matter what, but spell bomb bounced the one thing that was like really stopping him from um, holding him on to possibly win. Got it. I mean, he's, he's sitting here. Ready a, he's to... got a rip in hand. Swifty's got a rip in hand, which is nice. Not very his... good with the lingering souls. Yeah, though. but the salvagers. I mean, sure. But I mean, this fourth Aerolingos are just going to ruin Adam, right? It's going to hurt. I mean... Is that a Tarnished... No, it's an Ancient Tomb. Okay. Yeah. So he's three mana up. We don't know his hand at all, right? And not really. He, he plays him pretty tight. Huh. I mean... What he's, got, he's got Rebuke out of the board and Dispute. He didn't bring in Dispute, so possibly Rebuke if you go for it. You know, go for the gold. Maybe. But I don't think he brought in Rebuke. It doesn't feel right. I agree. I think that's mostly for the Counterspell matchups, mm-hmm. just to go over the top of them. Uh, he probably has Blue Elemental Blast. Yeah, he was getting ready to play the Rip, and then he decides to... Lingering Souls first, which makes sense. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I want to go ahead and linger first. I'm going to pull Cranberries. I do have to let it linger. Ah, uh, there it is. Uh, there's the Rebuke. I was wrong. <laughs> nice. <laughs> there's the Rebuke. Yeah, because he doesn't have a lot of way to answer. He doesn't have very many ways to answer the enchantment if it hits the player. Right, but actually, I mean, you're okay with that, right? Like uh, the rip there. Oh yeah. It's just like because I would rather be fourthing this next turn for four, right? Which is just, you know, maybe five. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Every turn, every turn, it feels like why doesn't he just fourth Aerolingus? And I guess he's just waiting to actually kill in one hit. Yeah. Well, or just you want you want you want it to be pretty big and right there. I mean, I. Because it's the same, like, if you don't kill immediately and he cracks back. So, like, the rip there seems good because, like, you're going to try to stop the salvagers, right? Yeah, vigilance, though, right? 
Yeah, but like, but if he corrects back with infinite mana. Oh sure, fair right. Fair like enough. you're not stopping an attack deck; you're stopping a yeah. combo deck. That's reasonable. And so that March mana, and you know the ability to pitch something. Yeah, that's fair. You have, you have to leave up one mana at minimum. Yeah, but you know, you know, depending on what you how much you need to pitch, like two mana is better really, even because you can. Yep. Oh, oh, there's some damage. It's down to seven now. So now he is dead next turn. He doesn't know that yet, but he is dead next turn. Right. Uh, unless he changed the call, because he's been calling even. He's been yeah. Odds hurt him. Let me go double check. Camera was wonky. <laughs> it sure as hell looked like a one. <laughs> yeah, it really did. I think the lighting's just bad in there. Right. No, yeah. And it's also been going in and out focus a lot. Sure. Okay, cracking in with the salvagers. Why Why is that? I don't know. That's an interesting one. Because salvagers is a 2 4. So I guess it's a free attack, maybe. Yeah, I mean, 2 4. Oh, that's why. Oh, that's funny. I assume he's just trying to loosen up Swifty's grip because Adam probably doesn't have as many cards. Yeah. And certainly doesn't have as many lands. Wait, no, they're even on lands. What? One, two, three, they four, five, six. six. Yeah, they both got six. That's a weird one. Yeah, what is he's gonna lose. Doing? I guess it's just minimizing hands, probably. I'm sure Adam has, like, two cards in hand. Yeah, he's gonna lose one token. But, I mean, Swifty has a full grip. It looks like. It's like six or seven cards. Yeah, I mean... So, he, but he, so he's got the march. He can go ahead and march the monolith. I still don't understand why he's attacking. What, like, why, why would you attack? I don't know. It doesn't, well, it doesn't do anything about the balance, right? Like, he blocks one. It's still, still going to be one on one on the balance. If he double blocks, you're kind of out of luck. Well, yeah, that's true. Like, like, I don't know. Maybe that's just a thing nobody ever do. Right. But, and you can always... Uh, spell bomb his own thing if he needed to, I guess, in that situation. Yeah. Did he get the spell bomb back from somewhere, or was that the last game? He, he bought it back with Salvagers a while ago. Ah, of course. That makes sense. Salvagers is very good. Okay. Yeah. I forgot Salvagers put into your hand not to play, so I went out there and checked on something earlier. I was like, what? <laughs> okay, he's marching the vial. He's going it, to... It's a spell bomb. He's going to make him force him, right? He's going to, like... Yep. Well, and it also... He's going to lose the cards anyway. Right. Exactly. So he might as well... And March Exiles, so this is a nice way right. to stop that train. Right, but he's you know he's going to use it. He'll either draw a card or, but if he draws a card, that's better for Swift anyway. I think. I mean, if I'm if I'm Adam, don't you just bounce either your own creature or one of the tokens? He just bounces Salvagers. That's what I think I do. Do you? Is that better than getting an extra card out of Swifty's hand? Okay. Yeah, because you now, now you get rid of both tokens. Yeah, that's fair. All right. And yeah, it stops the pressure in your life total other than from your own crypt. Right, but he doesn't know the He board. doesn't know about right, the right. eight he's about to take. Possibly ten. We'll see if... Oh man, if 50 has a land in here. Land Revoker just went. But that means he probably has land probably. at fourth. Yeah. Because what, what could he be scared of at this point? Yeah, no, for sure. A Mystical Dispute, maybe? Yeah. Is he, or he, Hydroblast. He can replace Albert oh, Urza. All but Urza, actually. So Urza is going to keep him alive. Urza will keep him alive. And if he has a if he has a hydroblast in hand, if he doesn't have any blue mana now, that's why. The, oh, you're right. Yeah, that's what I said. Urza. No, no, he does. Urza, Urza makes blue mana. Oh, I always forget. I forget. Yeah, I, I played to this. Uh, yeah, if he has a blast, but I don't. Think, I doubt he has it. It'd be pretty sick if he does. It would. It would. He's got a land. He's got Caracas. And the construct is currently a three three. Uh, yeah. Okay. So like. I think you play. You bounce the Urza over. Do you bounce the Urza over the next or fourth mana? I mean, because he replays it, he just gets another construct. But like that. You're saying with the Crocus? Yeah, he's got the Crocus in hand. I don't think I do. I don't think I do either. I think you just go big and just say, you are probably going to die to your own mana crypt trigger. Right. But at the same time, Swifty's been playing kind of scared, and I'm not saying it's wrong, but he's been, yeah. he's been playing very conservatively this whole game. Oh, yeah, so. for sure. And it's also really tempting to be like, 
maybe I just won't fourth this turn. Next turn, I can do it for more. And you just keep saying that to yourself turn after turn. And eventually... I said it's funny. In the game one, I said there was one where he did it for... When he did it for two, I was like, I think it would have been greedy and waited until the next turn yeah. to do it for three. And I was like, it's probably a mistake on my part, but that's what I would have done. I think it's it's so easy to trick yourself into just never casting it. Yeah. And then you get farther and farther behind. I guess that fracture in his hand. Yeah, that looks right. Yeah, so that's... Fracture Caracas. Yeah, fracture, crisis. fracture. Your baby. This is a. You wrote an article like four years ago saying. Well, I mentioned it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> telling people they should play it more. Yeah, so fracture doesn't see that much play, does it? Not really. No, not at all. Yeah. Wow. There's just so much good removal options in those white black. And, sure. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I. Yeah. I understand doing it. I totally think it's probably a mistake, but. And here it goes. There's for four. Yeah. I mean, I, you can justify it, though. Like, hey, the same number of creatures get through either way. Right, right, exactly. And now, you know. But if he does recast it, now he has to you know pay the mana to recast it. And... Correct. And his life total is under pressure, man. Right. So he's going to be at four. He's going to be at four, taking a mana crypt tri uh, flip, and also uh, taking damage from that ancient tomb. Do they have vigils? I'll check. No, it's trample on haste. It's not Ah, uh, okay. Because that's right. You don't have to attack with them. Right. And that's how you can avoid becoming the monarch. Yeah. And he gets the monarch back. And now he's going to add some counters. So he attacked with all of them and got right. one of them blocked. Right. All right. The monarchy is established. And the and in initiative. Right. He got the initiative back. back. He's going to get counters. Put two on. Yeah. But he didn't leave any back to block. So he's, so he's going to lose the initiative back the other way, and he'll get a 4-1. And he'll lose the Monarch, too. Yeah. Man. But, I mean, that assumes he attacks, and he doesn't... I mean, the blocker, like, he may not be able to attack. I mean... We'll also see if Adam can LP roll a 6 again. Yeah. Okay, I was going to say, because if, if he rolls a 1, he can't use his Ancient Tomb anymore. This is a wild match. I mean, I don't think he can attack. Well, I mean, he, he can recast the arrows. He can probably attack, like... He almost has to take the net back. So he has to attack. So he doesn't take the net back, he's just dead. But if one gets through, he's still he's dead. So either way, like if he lets something get through or he yeah. takes the net back, he's dead. Correct. And so he recasts. Well, this is right, right? Because he recasts Urza. He gets under the bunker, but he just bounces the Urza again and then one gets through. Yes, there's still three creatures. But when Adam takes the net back. Oh, this is Salvager, though. When Adam takes the Annette back, uh, yeah, let's see what the Undercity says. He gets it's a treasure this time. Next time, so, the treasure is yeah. not nothing, and he can go yeah, to creature, right. which doesn't really matter. Well, I was saying he gets the four one skeleton, but he's not there yet, so yeah. that's why I was checking on. So, but I mean, get, getting the getting a treasure is is something that's going to matter. Right, right. Uh, you could pay a lot of mana now. Oh, he's going. He's going for it, man. Pain three, going to two life. No fear of mana crypt to get back that spell bomb. Yeah. Plays a spell bomb. He has two mana up. Crashing Take, for three. Right, crash for three. Take the net. And the monarchy. Yeah. Get a treasure. Yeah. Did he need to use that tomb? How much, well, he attacks, so now he, anything he had floating is gone. I think he could have played Urza first, because the Caracas is tapped, and then used the tapped the treasure and the... I think this could have worked out if he used the Urza first. So he can bounce one thing with the spell bomb. Yes. And block two. No, he only block one. Correct. He's got to have a shenanigan in hand, I mean. That is the only thing that makes sense to me. Let's see what else he has. Swords. swords. It's got to be a swords. I hate Luke Truth over here. He hasn't put it into his hand yet. Echoing Truth out of the board, potentially. Sure. Hydro Blast, because these creatures are red? Mind Twist for three. Ooh. Okay, so we'll find out right now. No, nothing. LED, Manifold, Urza. So he had infinite mana, he just couldn't do anything with it. Wait. He could have drawn his whole deck. But it, that, does that get him anywhere? 
Did you have infinite mana in your deck in hand? I would hope so. But yeah, it's not drawn, so that how could he? With the Aether Spellbomb. Oh, uh, he could have drawn something. He could have, yeah. I, I think he... Why yeah, haven't? Maybe he was scared of another march or something? Yeah, I don't know. Huh. Or, no, I was going to say maybe he can't get the key back if he drops it, so he can't do the key vault, but that's not it. Wait, now he's passing it back without attacking? I'm so... We, we must be missing something on this board. Uh, did he roll for the... He's getting ready to... I guess he rolled and got it. Must be. I'm so... What am I missing? Does he not want to leave? No, because he's at two. But if you attacked back and took the initiative, you just... Well, you'll see he's at two. You just kill him. Right. <laughs> I'm very confused. Does, does does he think this is a skeleton instead of a treasure? Maybe it's a skeleton instead of a treasure. Maybe I was off. He's got the thing low, one lower. Maybe I was just off. Yeah. On the on my count. That could be. Yeah. If, if, I mean, if that's a, if that's a skeleton, that's it. That makes sense. All right. Well, that was the match. All right. I'm going to go on there and talk to them a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah.